What's up guys, Tim Halstead here with Drag Boss Garage. This is Steve Kinzel's Lone Wolf. This is the first Track Boss block produced by Tim Meyer that's been built. Now the original build, he dynoed this, we called it the Lone Wolf. And his top horsepower at that time was 796 out of 800 horsepower goal. This time he built it again and did some changes to the plenum of the sheet metal tunnel ram that you saw previously. He also has an SC1 intake adapted for the Blue Thunder heads. An Australian muscle parts belt drive. He runs a Molnar crank and rods with a correct forward offset. He has race tech pistons. They're like 13, five to one. So he did these changes with the intake and wanted to see what he was going to get for a horsepower increase as he wants that 800 horsepower goal. Well, he took it to the dyno and I think he said his first run out there and he put 1.8 rockers on it. It dropped horsepower and only made 791, which is pretty disappointing. So they ended up changing the rocker arm to a 1.73 on the exhaust, which picked up another 13 horsepower. Long story short, as he went on a 100-mile drive to get the remainder of the valve train to change the intake side to 1.73, and that's where he picked up a lot of horsepower. Also, he initially tested this engine with Torco 112 oxygenated fuel, but they ran out of the fuel and added VPC12, and that's when the horsepower started to decrease. So it was pretty disheartening until they figured that part out. After they switched the fuel to VP113 oxygenated fuel to test the single 1050, that's when they realized they had the key. Oxygenated fuel was 806.4. However, if you look at this picture, it looks like he's making 807 horsepower in that one little instance. That's what I like, 807. What Steve found was the vacuum pump made quite a bit difference in this combination. Going from 8.2 inches to 8.9 went from 799.5 to 806.4 horsepower. Well, here's the final. This was the final run of the day. Single 1050. We had to put them three spacers underneath to get it there. The pump ended up making 804 at 7200. What a day. Well, there you go. There's a little clarification there. So the tunnel ram motor made 806.4 horsepower and the single four dominator made 804 horsepower. They did all the changes that we do, trying to make horsepower with jet changes and that kind of thing. But this motor is gonna be a bracket motor. And the RPM that it makes the peak horsepower at is only 7,300. Well, there you go, guys. The dyno results for the Lone Wolf, the first Trek Boss Performance Products aluminum Cleveland block. Steve Kins will be happy with this, making peak power at 72 or 7,300. It's gonna be a bracket motor and it will serve him well. He's going to continue with a single four just for ease of installation and dealing with. So stay tuned for his track results. Well, there you go, guys. The dyno session of the Lone Wolf. Thanks, Steve, for giving Drag Boss Garage the exclusive. But like any dyno experience, it's not just an easy bolt-on and run. Always have your problems. Here's an example. He uses the Davis Craig water pump system. Look at that fitting. So luckily, this is aluminum, and it probably came out fairly easy. But no dyno session is without its issues. Thanks, Steve. Stay tuned, guys.